Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be describing for you how to access the camera attached to your computer system and send that streaming video to an output window on your display. So we have a short script here that accomplishes that and uh, we'll walk through this and then uh, we'll go ahead and execute it so you can see it in action. So starting on lines 35 and 36, uh, we're importing OpenCV and the systems module, both of which are required below. And then on line 38, we're specifying a default uh, camera device index of zero. On line 39 and 40, we're simply checking to see if uh, there was a command line specification to override that uh, default value. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to use zero. And then on line 42, we're going to call the video capture uh, class to create a video capture object. And uh, we pass in device index into that class. So device index of zero will uh, access the default camera on your system. If you had more than one camera attached to your system, then you would need to indicate a device index that points to the correct one. So zero would be the default, one would be the second camera, two would be the third camera, and so forth. On line 44 and 45, uh, we're creating a named window, which we're going to eventually send the streamed output to. And then finally, on line 47, we're going to create a while loop. Uh, and this wow loop is going to allow us to continuously stream video from the camera and send it to the output uh, unless the user hits the escape key. So that's what this wait key function does. It continuously checks uh, whether or not the users hit the escape key. So uh, the first line in this loop, uh, line 48, uses that uh, video capture object source to call the read method in that class. And that read method will return uh, a single frame from the video stream as well as a logical variable uh, has underscore frame. So if there's any kind of a problem with uh, reading the video stream or accessing the camera, then has frame would be false and we would break from the loop. Uh, otherwise, we'd continue on and call the uh, IM show function in OpenCV to actually send the video frame to the output window. So that's all there is to it. Uh, there's not much code. We just wanted to walk through that and, and give you an example of how to do this. So let's go ahead and execute it. And there it is. Here's the window streaming video from my web camera right to the display. As soon as I hit the escape key, this is going to uh, exit. And uh, that's all we really wanted to cover in this video. In the next uh, video, we're going to uh, build on this a little bit and do some processing of the uh, video frame from the camera and then send the uh, post-processed output to the display. So that's gonna be a little bit more interesting to take a look at. So that's it for now, and we'll see you next time.